Welcome back to all you guys and today it's a quick Newcastle versus Manchester City preview. Sorry I'm not having a normal set, I'm sorry this video came out with schedule pop and um, problems, like schedule problems for me to come out this way. So I don't know what my grandma's not my normal set, but we'll be back there for the reaction video tonight. So man Newcastle versus Manchester City. Two teams who haven't lost in this Premier League season as of yet. Obviously, Manchester City are the champions. Last, I've already done a video on Newcastle versus Manchester City before, and we lost 5-0 in that video. So, fingers crossed, we can get the win, or at least a draw today. A few stats for you. We In the past 27 Premier League games we have played against Manchester City, they have scored in every single one of them. Another stat for you. In the in this season, Newcastle and Manchester City are the only two teams who haven't um conceded a goal. So from that from that um from those stats, I mean Manchester City are probably gonna score but it's gonna be a, a low scoring game. Um there's loads of like like fingers crossed that Nick Pop stars again like he did against Brighton last week out where we got a nil nil draw and I I I am gonna look at the danger men but not much so you everyone knows who the danger men is. But I'll still go over them. Danger men's are Erling Haaland. Obviously, got signed this summer from from. He came from Borussia Dortmund. He's Norwegian. We know everything about him. He's a, He's probably one of the main danger man. Danger men. Jack Grealish. Even though he's playing get booed today after after calling out out me one saying he can't shoot. He's playing get booed today. So. He's another one, but he can cause danger. So Foden, K KDB, Zash, aka Kevin De, Kevin De Bruyne. Um, there's loads I'm forgetting. We had Mares, Gun Gundogan, um, Ruben Diaz is is always a threat. The whole city team's a threat, to be honest. Obviously, Joachim Sturin always used to score against us. Obviously, he doesn't play for them anymore. So, that 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 means that means it's good for us. We need to get we t today is where we can measure ourselves this season. If we if we if we get smashed two three nil, it means we're not on their level. If we go out there today and get a nil nil draw. You never know what's going to happen. Obviously, their past form was a 2-0 win against Everton. And like, I think it was 4-5. I think it was 4-0 against Bournemouth. Um, so they have scored two in, scored six in the last two games. Well, from... I thought it was the Bournemouth game, but I'm pretty sure it was 4-0. They haven't conceded a goal yet this season. It's only them and Arsenal who haven't lost the game all season so far. So, so we can end that run for them today. But if we, we, we th 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 this is a good testament because we've got Wolves coming up soon, and that video will be coming out very, very soon. So, depending what happens today. It means we can change it for the Wolves game, and we've got Liverpool after, and that means uh, and Liverpool have had two draws against two teams. They should really be winning, winning between with Fulham and Palace. So if we go out and get a draw, draw against Manchester City today, Liverpool, even though it's at Anfield, you never know. I'm gonna do like a pre-match prediction. I'm gonna go with one-one, maybe a little bit risky. But, fingers crossed it works. Come on, lads! Like, anyways, the reaction video will be coming out soon. 
think if Frostis comes out before the match, or I'll be, I'll, or I'll look like an absolute idiot. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you all in a few hours' time. Bye.